Some experts believe that this is the world's best UFO film. It was taken by Matt Lane Rutherford in Silver Springs, Maryland. Mr. Rutherford took footage after twilight as the disc hovered over his backyard. Scientists examined the footage and concluded the craft appeared to be maneuvering in its own gravitational field. On a morning walk in 1971, an Australian couple photographed this silver disc in flight. In 1977, a Boy Scout in Indiana took this picture of a metallic craft as it circled his house. In 1978, a terrified housewife in Spain snapped a picture of these UFOs while watching the sunset. This footage was taken by an Australian TV crew on December the 31st, 1978. This luminous domed craft appeared to have a rim around the center and two large portholes. It maneuvered at such an incredible speed it left this track on a single frame of film. No known conventional aircraft can fly at such speeds. In 1978, the United Nations released statistics showing that since 1947, 63,144 UFO sightings were reported. That's approximately one every four hours. Even President Jimmy Carter had his own alien encounter. While governor of Georgia, he filed this seven-page UFO report stating he spotted a glowing object hovering for 12 minutes in the skies over Georgia. The report was personally signed by Carter himself. Filming on a British Airways commercial, the crew captured this luminous UFO maneuvering alongside the Concorde. This dome-shaped craft was filmed by a television crew from New Zealand in January the 2nd, 1979. We can clearly see the craft from the top. The disc appears to be rotating while emitting a blue glow. An identical craft was photographed in 1952 by a Brazilian journalist in Rio de Janeiro. Here we see the dome is visible from two angles and the side is surrounded by large portholes. This sighting was filmed from the parking lot of the Rio Casino Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. When the footage was enhanced, a disc-shaped craft can be seen with a dome on the top and a series of portholes surrounding the craft. In 1991, this footage made worldwide headlines. These two discs were videotaped in a suburban neighborhood just outside Ottawa, Canada. Both UFOs landed in what appears to be a prearranged site. This footage became known as the Guardian sighting. In 1991, eyewitnesses screamed as a photographer took this picture off Manhattan Island as a disc emerged from the river and flew off. This craft was photographed rising out of the water in Australia as it docked with a smaller dark object. This UFO was spotted in Denver, Colorado as witnesses watched from a neighbor's backyard. In the mid-1990s, startled eyewitnesses filmed these craft as they hovered silently in the night skies. In the months following, similar craft were videotaped on three different continents. It was rare that sightings like these...